you know, the more that I think about it, I find it really funny that I have a huge interest in, like, you know, women that are taller than me. I'm around, like, again, five foot, 3.5 inches, maybe. And, you know, when the internet says that these women are, like, not even five foot, like, some of them are even five, four foot, 9.5 inches. I have trouble believing that. Or should I say, uh, are they really? Is this game just trying to just make me realize that they're actually tiny people? Because, like, I'm not going to lie. I really hate being that guy, but I'd really like, you know, some tall women. Not 449 people! Hello, everyone. It is me, Jerry Gaming here, and welcome to some more Hyper Mega Dimension Neptunia VIAR. This time, we are going to be doing some blonde and after we get through her intro I might try to do a VR session with whoever might be new which I think will be Noir since we just did her route so now we have to do blonde's route which oh boy I can imagine this taking finally made way it to too city. long I hope Ram and Ram are doing all right oh hello young lady but again Where she might be my favorite from? woman so or my favorite not my favorite woman but my favorite CPU cuz Woman wise, I don't think she's a woman, young she's lady. a girl. I'm not a young lady. I'm Louise CPU. And <laughs> a CPU? Oh, these youngsters say such funny things these days. I figured as much. They didn't believe me in the last city either. No one seems to remember me, or any of the other CPUs for that matter. What the hell is going on? If you're lost, I can show you around. I'm a receptionist at the guild, so you can rest assured in my knowledge of the city. Oh, they're called guilds. I thought it was guides. What the heck? How did I get that mixed up? The guild, huh? Well, great timing at least. I did want to stop over by the guild. Oh, I really? also got like. Do you have a request? Some snacks with me because I had I'm a feeling this is gonna take a while, so sisters. I don't want to just have Their water. Names are Ram and Ram. They look like. Oh, Ram and Ram. Sure, I know them. You know about them? Where are they right now? Those two girls said they would head to Louise Capital City to meet their big sister. I couldn't even stop them. Now that I remember, they kept insisting they were CPU candidates as well. When did this happen? Just a few hours ago. Wow. Thanks for the info. I'll be going now. I really need to find those two. Okay, just use the main road, all right? Avoid the woods if you can help it. You'll hear there's a shortcut if you go through there, but lately I've heard there are strange monsters roaming about. Okay, I'll remember that. Oh, yes! Yes, we're finally playing as... I almost called her Ram. It's Bland. Blonde. Oh my god. What a chore. <laughs> what a chore. Okay, girl. Okay. I should get to the next city past this main road. I hope I can meet up with Ram and Ram there, but... I've never seen this kind of monster before. Is this one of those weird monsters that lady was talking about? Either way, if it's gonna stand in my way like this, I have no choice but to fight it. Her coat, so adorable. Annoying. I'm more than enough. What level is she? Oh, wait, what? I can mess around with the sound here? Hello? Okay, I don't even get to see her level, I can just... Let's see. Oh yeah, we can do all this. Look at the hand. That's a weird looking hammer. Not gonna lie. Is that a hammer? Cause we can zoom out that far. Okay, buddy. I'll get her at the red. Cause I'm pretty sure that's where it hurts the most. All right, that's cool. They're not dead. They're almost dead, but they're not dead. Not bad. Ow. Uh. Okay. So let's do just this yeah, move. Weak. Since that is enough. Um. So now I learned I can just you know only do one move. <sighs> Why did they still live? What? Oh, a kick? Okay, go. <laughs> what a wimp! Oh, <laughs> that was a literal sidekick. Wow. Easy. There was no need for me to fight. Oh, that's a cute level up animation. They were I formidable opponents. I've never seen this species. 
So maybe I should investigate a little just in case I find one again. So it's not like on the other animations where they're like, I guess some of them are still. Wait, I mean, they are true to their person. Over. Oh, what? It's gonna, it's gonna be her, isn't it? Oh, sh shoot! I can't. Not here. She got struck. Whoa! Hey, hey. Whew, she's just passed out. Okay, that's good. She seems pretty tough. Still, why is a little kid way off the beaten path in a place like this? Oh well, I guess I'll help her out. This is one of the shots, I mean, you know. Uh, you, you're in the way, you know. I'm gonna have you disappear now. I'm sorry, I, I still can't lie, she's actually really hot, like, come on. I mean, not just the chest, of course, but the hat. I have a personal taste for those with the hat. You're finally awake. Man, you were really knocked out there. Okay, but at least, you know, since she was one of the Shaws, I definitely remember her because, you know, reasons. I definitely do know more than likely at the end of this, she's going to become an antagonist one way or the other. One way. Where? We're in a hotel, not too far from where you passed out. My name's Sisha. I'm Blonde. Nice to meet you, Blonde. I carried you here, so you can go ahead and thank me now. Yes, thank you. Hmm? Well, you're... Hmm? Is there something on my face? Why are you here? Whoa, what's with that change in attitude? I'm not sure how to respond to that. Do you know me or something? I'm bad at remembering people's faces. Sorry. Who are you? <laughs> okay, I love her. What? There's no way in hell you forgot. We just fought each other. Oh, so she remembers, but not... Freaking Noir? I fought with you? No way. I don't believe it. I would have remembered something like that. What? Do you remember these freaking fists digging into your cheeks? Just stay right there. Oh. Hey, now, don't push yourself. What'll you do if your wounds reopen? What's your angle here? Attacking me, then saving me? I don't get you at all. Sorry, but I really don't remember. This is the first time we've met. Stop lying to me, damn it! I'm not, I swear. Besides, if I really attacked you before, why would I save you now? Okay, so that right there just explains everything about the whole Shaw's not remembering the fight. Because she physically straight up tells us she doesn't remember it at all. So that leads me to believe when they got the golden power, they knocked down those, you know, CPUs, right? Um, did whoever rewrote this, rewrote not only who are, you know, the pres- the, you know, quote-unquote presidents of the, you know, nations, but also, um, they also rewrote their memory, because I feel like that's the case. No, nah, it has to be the case, there's no way. Th that's- It doesn't make sense, right? You probably just fought someone who looked like me. No, it, it was her, but the way this was rewritten, she doesn't know that. She doesn't know that she actually did. She's the same person. She has the same powers, the overpowered powers, but she doesn't remember because mm -hmm. of the rewriting the whole history thing. If you understand, then lay down and rest. Don't worry. I won't attack or eat you. <laughs> or eat you. Let's be specific about that. I don't that. know why you'd mention eating me, and frankly, it bothers me. But maybe you're not lying. Oh, good. You're acting like a normal person now. You know, you have a pretty funny personality. Shut up. Don't think we're <laughs> friends all of a sudden. I still have no reason to trust you. Well, all I can do is ask you to trust me because I really don't remember fighting you at all. Fine. I'll at least believe that you don't remember me. And thanks for saving me. You're welcome, Blonde. So tell me, why were it is you blonde. alone in a dangerous place like that? So it's basically like, you know, you got blonde hair? Yeah, just think of that, but you know, spelled differently. Blonde. That doesn't concern you. Oh, but it does. If you were fighting monsters, I need to check whether or not you're a hunter. A hunter? What? Oh, you don't know? <laughs> right. You're not originally from Louis, are you? 
No, I am from Louis, born and raised. Then you must know about the license system, separation of living spaces and all that. Licenses? Separation of living spaces? I don't remember making those things. Rewriting of you history. Don't know, even though you're from Louis, have you been living abroad for a while? I don't understand how you're not aware. Rewriting history, except the CPUs are not affected for some reason. Okay, well, let's just put those questions aside for now. Could you explain all this stuff to me? The license system is simple. All residents are meticulously managed, all the way down to what professions they hold. What? The people don't even get to choose what kind of jobs they have? Right. It's even pretty ordinary for your job to be decided at birth. Wow! That's just ridiculous. So, you know, I like to play video games and edit videos, but I could have just been decided to go to the military or be a nurse, or not a nurse, a doctor, or, you know, some other, or I could be a stock manager. I could have been working at a back office at an Apple store, or just anything. I think that every once in a while, too. The only saving grace is that anyone is free to choose their own side job. Hmm. Although it's a different matter entirely if you can get the license to hold it. Is that so? Then that hunter thing you were talking about is a licensed profession? Definitely. As a hunter, my job is to exterminate monsters and to complete guild quests. I see. The more they hear her voice, I'm not gonna lie, she sounds like my type of lady. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... <laughs> well, that's enough license talk. <laughs> Just know that if you're going to live here, you need a license or you won't be able to live properly. Where you get to live changes depending on your license and your contributions to the nation, too. Ah, is that the separation of living spaces? Right. I'm able to live a pretty good life, but the gap between rich and poor is visibly terrible. We're in an authoritative society now. It's up to the nation whether you live or die, even. This place only resembles the old Louis in its name. Is this Sparta? Like, I remember learning something about this in history. I'm actually surprised I remember that stuff, but I remember in Sparta, at an age of six, you were pretty much just taken away from your mothers and fathers, and uh, you were just trained at an age of six to, you know, fight. And I think that, I don't remember a specific one, but there was one specific trait that would cause you to be just thrown out of the city to be sacrificed to the dogs. You've got to be kidding me. You know what dogs I'm talking about. Who's the asshat overseeing something so incredibly outrageous? This is definitely just, you know, Sparta, but with the name Louis. Louis was never that kind of nation. It's a relaxed, magical, fairy tale kind of land. This overexertion of power never existed. I can definitely see the Mario reference there, because, you know, relaxed, magical, fairy tale kind of land. You know, all the Nintendo games, yeah, they're. All of them are that. Oh, my Louis. The Louis that I love and vowed to protect isn't that kind of nation. Wow. Well, your, your patriotism's kind of surprising. You must really care about Louis, huh? I'm sorry, but like, just in the comments below, just tell me when to shut up about Sisha, cause like, god dang. I will look of at her as long I as care. I have to. This is my. Oh, wow. Hey, hey, you're injured still. Don't get too riled up. And to let you know, nobody knows who's really in control here. From the uh, last arc, I'm gonna pretend like it's her, and she neither either does she not know, or she actually does know, but it's a secret. Cause I'd like to know too. If I find that bastard, I'm gonna beat that idiot into a bloody pulp. Sounds I feel like it's to gonna be her one way or the other, because you know, last time it was Keisha. But first, I need to find my little sisters. Oh, you have younger sisters? Did you get yes. separated? Basically. You're a hunter, right? Do the names Rom or Ram sound familiar? Nope, I've never heard of them. If they're lost, you can send out a quest and I can begin searching for them. I'll search myself. That's why I came all the way out here anyway. How are you going to search? If you don't have a license, you can't move around freely in the Wii. Wow. Then I'll just get one. Anybody can take the aptitude test, so it'd be good for you to apply. Up. 
A patent? Oh, I'm become sorry, become I'm not good at English. Just by taking a test, though. Don't cry if you can't become one, Blonnie. Like I care Blonnie. about that. And don't call me Blonnie unless you want me to rip your lips off your face. Oh, come on. It's fine to call you Blonnie, isn't it? Oh, that's right. If you really want to look for your sisters out there, I could let you borrow this room. What? What's your objective in that? You're going to suspect a person's goodwill like that? It's not like I'm thinking of having you help me if you become a hunter. Hmm. <sighs> I've Come reached on, an on. age where I want to start taking it easy. Having a partner is going to make a lot of things easier. It looked like you could fight monsters all right, so it'd be way better to partner with someone who I know can pull their own weight. I'll think about it. Thanks, Blonnie. Well then, I'm going to sleep. If anything happens, please wake me up. Here are the blankets I got from the front desk. Where are you gonna sleep? I mean, it's a room with two beds, so she just sleeps on the other bed, duh. On the right? floor? <laughs> I figured that was your move. <laughs> Never mind. Did you only get one room? Or are you just trying to keep an eye on me? It can't be helped. I could only afford one room with my current income. So then, why do you have a background with two beds? Like, on come on. That, all Common the other sense. rooms are full. So, we're kind of stuck with this for now. If that's the reason, then I guess it's no use. I'm tired too, so I guess I'll go to sleep now. Well, you better hold wrong around me if I want to share the bed with you. <laughs> Seisha, you're pretty, you're hot, you have best hat in the game, like, in every single existence of, uh, you know, the entire game. And, uh, yeah. Because, you know, you, if you guys know my Ink Sona, you know, he wears the same hat as her. You know, so, like... What? <laughs> um, I wouldn't want that. I have no idea what you try to pull. Good night. If she really doesn't remember me, then it's probably best to keep quiet about me being a CPU. Okay, also real quick, can I see what level she is? Level 36. Hmm. I should... Um... Ah... Uh, I need to level her up to level 41, one way or the other. Because, I mean, last time, that fight with Keisha, that was literal BS. Like, actual BS. Like, so we need to do some... Level of grind, we need to fight every enemy possible, no matter how long it takes. Or maybe I should start doing that when we get to the later levels and stuff like that, so... Anyways, before we do any of that, I want to head to the playroom, and I want to see if there are any VR sessions, which I think there are... Yeah, with Nuar, because we just, um, allowed her, you know, allow me to clean your room. Wow. Hi, player. <laughs> what was that? Did you guys hear that? The poof. You know. Ooh, getting a little close there, ma'am. See? I didn't trip on anything this time. Yay! Hmm. It feels like it's a little messier in here today, huh? I know I asked you last time, but are you okay with me cleaning up a bit? Wait. In what way is it dirty? But yes. Cool. I'm gonna make this place spotless. I'll finish this up in no time. <laughs> what place is... What spot is dirty though? Like, oh. Ow, 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 ow. She tripped again? Uh, I'm fine. Oh. oh, she said oof. That was embarrassing. Please, don't stare. <laughs> I mean, kind of too late, right? Also, I saw like objects flying around the okay. room at the beginning. Did I mention that? Let's no, I didn't. Go over here. Wow, she's actually physically going out of her way to clean my table. Okay, and games go. How about here? Oh my gosh, why what? is this so what? adorable? She's literally cleaning my room. Like, hello. Is there another waifu that you guys know in a video okay, game that literally goes out of the way to clean your room? I would love to know. Because I don't this think so. I think she's the only one. Stop. 
so Great. adorable. Do it. Can't wait to see blondes. Ouch! <laughs> Ma'am, your <laughs> your hair flicking actually hit something. Oh, Is it broken? Is it cracked? Is it anything? Pretty sure that's my Oscars award trophy that I just had like a few minutes ago. Worse than it actually was. It's fine. Better be. It looks fine, right? It doesn't look like it's dented anywhere. Whew. That's good. Sorry for scaring you like that, player. But thankfully, nothing's broken. Honest. Okay. Um, I don't usually make silly mistakes like that. It's cool, right, player? <laughs> I'm sorry, but she's cute. Why? Why are all of them so cute? Okay, but I mean, you know, it's not broken, so I mean, <laughs> what do you want me to say? Uh, yeah, as long as you're cool, I'm cool. Well, anyway, it's time I head back. You know, I might have made a mess of things today, but it was just bad luck. Okay. I just had an off day, you know? I mean, yeah, but like... My whoa? visit was a little short today, but next time, I'll make this place clean. I promise. It already looks clean. Like, hello? All right then, I'll see you again soon. See you later, Noir. Why? Why are you so adorable? Why? Why? I don't get it. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's another one. Helping a friend? Question mark. In the middle of eating. Don't disturb me. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Hey, player, how have you been? Ma'am, that is up close. So, um, today I thought I'd change my routine a little and ask you for some advice. Lately, I've been wondering a lot about my future. I'm not sure what I want to do. Oh, you just, I actually like... Well, the reason I'm bringing this up is... Did you, I don't know if you guys saw, but I like the little, like, side so paint I'm the of their mouth, of like when they were looking off to the side. But I'm also a girl. You, you'll probably know when you actually see her mind. mouth from the side. So I want I to... like that detail. That's actually good. Or, I'll oops, give it My friend. It's about my friend, all right? She's really interested in becoming a voice actress. Did I mention that she's really close? Doesn't everybody dream about becoming a voice actor? I mean, even if you could debut as one, you don't get work if you can't pass auditions. Sometimes it's tough to stay relevant, too. That is of true. Of course, she understands the road is a difficult one. But still, she really wants to become a voice actor. Do you think she would be able to make it if she just believes in herself? Just believing in herself? Maybe not. I mean, if she has the idea of what she would want to do, then maybe. Then, um, that might work out. Also, what friend is it? Like, Keisha? Like... But, um, if you at least understand what you're doing, then you're already at a good start. But, um, if you're just doing, if you're trying to get into an audition, you know you're not going to pass, but you're believing it so. I mean, there's a possibility, but that's still a big no. But if you understand what you're doing and you're believing in yourself that you can do this audition, even with the confidence that you can do the audition, then yeah, sure thing. Yeah, you're right. As long as she believes in herself... She'll be able to see that dream come true. This is random, but if some kind of magic user told you, I can make your wish come true, would you believe them? Oh, wait, what? If I can make your wish come true, would you believe them? If some kind of magic user told you. Oh, shoot. Um, um, it's not God, so no. <laughs> I 
know, right? It's too good to be true. It's but not God. Good answer. Plus, you <laughs> just be too suspicious. You can't just go walking around hoping people will grant you wishes like that. True. You have to make your own dreams come true. Thanks for listening. I think I just have to make sure that I stay positive. I'm sure one day I'll be a great Theo. Oh, never mind. It's That's her. That's what my friend said anyway. Are you wow, sure? We've been talking for a while, huh? Yeah, and you're really close. It's Can about I time that? I get going. No, 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 wait. Actually, I, I regret time. everything I said. You can, you can actually uh, stay. No, no, no. <laughs> what? There's more? There is more. Whoa. There's actually more. I might actually spend this whole... If there's really way more, I might actually spend this whole video just doing VR sessions. That I could just hey, do, you know. I'm back again. What are you up to? Oh, it's on my desk. Or oh, that, the table. What is this? There's always something just there. You know? Hmm. A popular VO's live CD. Oh, so voice acting is a flourishing job in your world too, huh? Yeah, I tried doing it myself. Actually, I was just shopping before yeah, I came over here. my friend's doing it too. Here. I bought a couple of live CDs myself. You know... Via live cities and stuff. Kai? Uh, um, well, I bought them because I, uh, well, that's because... <laughs> Stuttering. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Right. It's because my friend's an aspiring voice actor who's been asking me for advice. I bought a bunch of CDs to use as reference to answer any of her questions. This is a little weird. Are you interested in VOs? No. I see. Not it's anymore, at least? Uh, I just meant it's too bad since I can't find anyone who would give good advice to my actor friend. Uh, the CD's recording length is over two hours. Even if there's a little editing, the live performance itself must be around two hours, right? Maybe it's presumptuous of me to think I could do something like voice acting as a hobby. Of course, I mean, my friend said that, or she would <laughs> say that. <sighs> okay, no, it's her. It's definitely uh, her. Um, I'm sorry for yelling. Oh, yeah, yeah, because it's like 1.14 in the morning. I was to talk about the VOs of your world today. I felt like I really learned something. Yeah, hey, wait, real quick. I'll visit <laughs> again soon. So maybe we can talk about voiceover stuff more next time. See you later. Yeah, it's like almost... One fi oh no, it is one fifteen where I am. I feel like I can be a little more honest with myself when I spend time with you. Thanks for letting me look at your CD. I'll just put it back now. Unlike last time, where you almost left with my Call of Duty game. Come on, ma'am. Bye. Bye. Why are you so adorable? Is beyond me. Why? Why? Stop being- Wow, is there seriously more? Are we just gonna, like, go through all of that at this point here? Are we gonna, like- Wow. Hold up. I'm sitting on my- She just teleported. I'm sitting on my couch. She's walking Hi there. really close. She's actually really <laughs> I tall. I came back to see you. This is random, but I was wondering, do you have any siblings? Yes, I do. I can Like, that's not even a question. I knew it. How did I know that? That's the intuition of a goddess. Also, you have an older sibling's temperament. You act very calmly, you know. Why do you I think know this? I told you before, but I have a younger sister named Uni. She works hard, I'm a and I'm proud from this of her. World. You shouldn't know that. She's I always so been this... cute too. But I always end up acting so uptight around her. Although. I do feel like we've been more open lately. Guys, I think she's watching us secretly, us and I just don't know. A lot together too. 
Sometimes I think it's important to have someone who's always gonna be by your side, you know? I mean, not just uni, my friends too. Um, I'm Unlike sure Neptune, well, she's a little you're bit my it. friend now, right? And you've been here for me every time I come and visit, and even now, you're here. Whoa, oh, I just been called her friend. My face is red? Is it really? Yeah, it is. But I'm really grateful for you. I'm glad that we've been able to keep meeting up and talking like this. Like friends. I'm touched. Really. Claire, like, oh my gosh. I want to spend this is a lot me. more time with you. I'm sure for that to happen, we'll both have to be on the same page, won't we? Uh, yeah. But for now, I do have to get going. Okay. I wish I didn't have to, but I'll come back soon. I think this will be an exercise in patience. Yeah, totally. 100%. Exercise. Wow! Okay, you know what? I'm starting to think we're just gonna go through all of our VR sessions, like, right here and right now. Oh. She was already in my room. <gasps> boop, boop, boop. You got something behind your back? Uh, hello. Um, so... <laughs> okay, ma'am. Yeah, speak up. Ooh. I found the script for a role that anyone can audition for. I wanted anyone? to run through it Wait. a few times so I could help my friend practice, but, um, can you please help me read through it? I'm sure reading through the script with someone else would help. I won't take no for an answer. Dang it! <laughs> I'll be reading the role of the Demon King that talks to my friend's character. I looked over the script earlier, and this scene seems to be one of the highlights of the story. It's important we work on this one, okay? okay? Let's begin. Okay. <sighs> All right. I'm ready. Here I go. Uh, well, it's not for me. This is going to be my friend's role. I love how that clock is <laughs> on point with the time it is right now. It is I, the god of darkness, Chaos Obsidian! I... I feel it. My eyes are aflame with my supreme overlord vision. The full moon has doubled my spiritual energy, and my inner darkness overflows! I will send her this ring, sealing the pact and making her a member of my Nightmare Crusaders! We were together in our past lives. With this, that sacred bond will come to life once again! What? What is it? Huh? I look excited? Yeah, like... Oh, come on, don't tease me! Hey, you were actually reading into it like, getting all enthusiastic, um, changing your voice tone a bit. Myself. Like, hold up. You're even breathing <sighs> in and out. You know what you're trying to do, girl. In my hands, I wield the demonic sword Durandal and the sword of darkness Dainsleaf. And in my grasp, the Dark Moon Shrine Princess, the resurrection of the Demon King, Super Satan, is... Oh, dear. Super Satan. You know, I almost called <sighs> Super Saiyans that at one Shoot. point as a child, so... Uh... I can't act if I'm embarrassed. But it's really hard to read such... Genuine and unfiltered trash. Oh, oh, when you know the voice actors say it's Aww. bad, it's bad. Oh. Listen to me. Oh. Saying that just proves how bad of an actress I really am. No, no, come on, ma'am. Watch, I'll be, uh, my friend. A friend. I mean, friend, friend, yeah, friend, her friend, not her, her friend. I have to read this seriously so I can help my friend really get into her role. You're still gonna help me with it, right? I mean, as someone who tried to be a voice actor myself, I got some experience, so yeah, pretty much, right? Like, why, like... Thank you! Right. I feel like things got a little carried away, but today was fun. Wow. I'm gonna get going now. I'll be back.
back real soon. Promise. See you later. See ya. Wow, so let me guess, new one? Wow, a new one indeed. I swear, are we really just gonna like, straight up? We haven't even spent any of the time with Blonde. We've just been doing VR sessions. What? Whoa, oh, you almost knocked over my table. That would've been pretty bad, ma'am. The audition results are in. I got a character that wasn't the real hammy one. It's a small role, but it's still my debut. Yeah, she got the role. That's Thank pretty conspicuous. Thank you so much. I was able to get it with your help. She's so cute, I've though. I've been taking like... good care of my voice. I'm taking a lot of cough drops and wearing masks when I go out. I even bought a Oh my gosh, fire. wait. I literally just We're realized. Of the trade now. I've got to keep it Hold safe. Hold up, wait. Before when she asks the question, I'll mention it. Also, uh, that story about my friend, the aspiring VO, it was a lie. I'm yeah, sorry. I figured. It was really about me. I was the one who wanted to be a voice actor. At first, I was too embarrassed to tell the truth, but you oh. most likely figured it oh, out so. anyway. Or did this come as a surprise? Oh, poor you. Okay, I'm ju I literally just realized this. Guys, you know her little, like, blue ribbons she has? Take those off. What do you get? She has the same... I, I might be, like, comparing too many anime characters and people in real life together just to make up a reference of someone who already existed in... But she actually looks like Hasune Miku. Okay, okay. When Yuni goes on her CPU form or her uh, HDD form, she has the same haircut as Tito. Right? You see where I'm going here? She has the same haircut as Hasune Miku. And her sister, when she's in HDD form, has the same haircut as Tito, Kazan Tito. And Project Devia is on the PS4. You see it? You see it? You see it? You see it? But no, it didn't surprise me. I figured as much. Thank you for not bringing it up and for helping me with my practice. Oh, you're welcome. Anyway, my audition was accepted, so I guess I'm technically a professional now. <gasps> well, don't get to that level yet. You still have to get through ratings. It's not like I'm overly happy or anything. But all I did was land the role. I'm going to have to practice even more now. Yes. Of course, I'll have you help me too. My goddess duties take precedence, and I won't have much time, but it doesn't matter. I need to do this. Imagine being a goddess All of a to nation say, and then also you trying to voice be ready act. Too. <laughs> hmm. Hold on a second. If I come here to practice, we won't have a lot of time to hang out normally. I don't know if I really want that. I take that back. I'm going to work on polishing up my lines more, and then I can run them by you. Okay. Now that I've got that out of the way, I need to start voice training immediately. I know I've already thanked you, but I really appreciate it. I can tell because you're really close this Thanks time. Again. Like, you didn't just stop, like, right there. You were just like... See you soon. Take care of yourself. Yeah, well, okay. I mean, I think I already have. It's like totally not 125 or anything. Okay, that is it. So, it looks like there might be a few more remaining. So we have all those for now. Okay, thankfully that didn't take up the entire thing. Because we still have to go through the blood! Now I can rest. And of course we have investments. Okay. You can take the aptitude test here. I hope you'll do your best. That's the plan. Didn't need you to tell me that. We'll begin wow. the aptitude test momentarily. Please be aware that it will take some time. That's fine. Let's get started already. Okay, then let's begin. Please come over to this room. I'll come pick you up when it's almost over. I'll be crossing my fingers for you to get a hunter's license, Blani. Crossing your fingers is pointless. And stop calling me that already! <laughs> come on! If you're able to get a hunter's license, I'll stop calling you Blani. I swear I'll become a hunter! That's the Just spirit. for the sake of not being nicknamed. Well, qualifying is basically all chance, so... Good luck! Ugh. You don't just say that to someone who's about to go take the test! <laughs> well, I've got some time to kill. 
I, I, okay, I really like her. I really like the both of them. They are so cute. Hey, you've been spying on me all morning. Is there something you want to talk about? Ha, huh, you caught me. As expected of you, Cisha. Wow, an actual male figure. I don't know you, and I don't remember giving you permission to act so friendly with me. And he and the way he sounds, he probably sounds My like an antagonist, so... I'm but a normal, upstanding citizen. Wait, what? Who has an equal sign in their name? A self-proclaimed upstanding citizen? Yeah, you're not suspicious at all. Say what you will of me. Incidentally, I wish to request you for a job. I need a person eliminated. It's gonna be blind. Why would I accept such a ludicrous request? I know where the delusionary monsters come from. Fine. I accept. Good. The target is the person it's in blonde. this picture. It's what? blonde. That target is blonde. Yep. Am I surprised? I mean, it was like that last time. I was quite surprised when I saw you walking next to her. But it actually is quite convenient. So... Does this mean it's gonna be like kind of the same story as it was with Noir, where supposedly blonde is like wanted? Why do you need her eliminated? It's none of your concern. I'll be waiting for a good report. To think... Blani is the target. Oh well, I have no intention of actually doing this job, so... Okay. I'll make something up to tell him. I think enough time's passed. Blani should be done by now. Well, I thought we were actually physically gonna do the test. I was about to say, like, that would be pretty cool. If we were actually doing the test ourselves instead of like, because I was thinking like, imagine having there be like multiple, mul 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 different routes depending on what score you got on the test. That would have been cool, but then again, it would have been really impactful, probably in the worst way possible. Welcome back, Blonnie. How'd it go? I qualified as a hunter. No thanks to you. So you can stop calling me that now. Uh oh. You really became a hunter, Blonnie. That's amazing. Oh, I'm still calling her Blonnie. Are Broke you even listening to me? Now then, Blani, let's hurry and go grab a quest. So, is it gonna be like kind of the same thing as the last arc with Noir, where they kind of where where Keisha, you know, was unknowing, was like starting to fall in love with Noir like way too hard? Does that kind of like happen with Sisha? Because, admittedly, <laughs> that would be kind of weird. Can you really not hear me telling you to stop calling me that? This is my license card. When you exchange information like this, you can see the other person's status and stuff like that. Freaking listen to me! Don't tell me you've already forgotten the promise you made before the test! Ooh, how scary. But don't sweat the small things like that. Come oh on, my god. Let's just accept a random quest. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's right. I'll go along with you for quests, so you don't have to worry. This is don't just so... continue the conversation. And damn it, listen to me! <laughs> okay, sweetheart. Um, random quests? Uh, wait, um, test for strength, please help. Rawr, rawr. I think I'll do this one, because we get a life fragment. That's kind of important. So I guess we just select one of any of these requests, or quests, and then, uh, can I? I really hate how I've used the D-pad occasionally, it's really irritating. Okay, so now we got one of them, so is that all we really need to do right now? Also, I think what would be pretty cool is that if we could actually play a Sisha, we could do that, that would be pretty cool, but I don't guarantee it, because otherwise it probably would have at least told us that, you know... <laughs> and they call her blind too, okay. Okay, so that conversation, um, we got, what was it? We learned that, um... Here? Really? Well, uh -oh. it's your choice, I guess. Come on, Blonde! You know... Wait, wait, entering player two park? Let's do our best. Hello? Okay. Um, so, that whole conversation was like, oh yeah, Ram and Ram, they stopped by, they got the hunter's license, and they accepted a request, a quest, so... You know, now we're here. We're gonna find them, and uh, let's. I'm gonna talk about this uh, stage real fast after this conversation. Uh, 
Alright, well that was a cute conversation. My coat is getting kind of warm. <laughs> okay, but for real, can we just talk about the fact that this is the fattest Super Mario reference I've ever seen in a video game? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is Mario 3D World. 100%. 100%. Mario 3D World right here. You cannot tell me less or whatever. Wait. Jump. Huh. Jump. Huh. Come on, not even a Mario jump as well. Jump. But this is without a doubt a Mario Land. So, like, look at this. We have pipes. We have. You can see there's. You can, if you, we just go over here, right? There are blocks in the black in the background. There are tre there are mushroom trees, and I don't know about these, but for now I'm just gonna say they are uh, Toy Story references. <laughs> but for real, how could you deny? This is just just look at the environment. It is it's got the color saturation and the aesthetic tone of a Mario 3D world. Like come on, look at this, look at this. And you can even hear from the theme. It's kind of got a little joyful tune to it as well. So come on, you cannot. Look at the blocks! Look! Look at the blocks! Oh my gosh. Also, the way she runs. What is it? See, look! The I swear, this is like one of those little paths where you get on, you know, the multiple views. There's just something about this. I swear to gosh, if you guys somehow deny deny it, then I, I'm I'm sorry. We're gonna have to have a whole argument with you. This is an enemy. This is pretty efficient. Wow, that was <laughs> that is actually an enemy. Uh, oh shoot. I think they're gonna have the most. He, she gonna have the most turn. I don't know. Hang on, hold up. Get him in the red. Yeah. Ooh. I'll take credit for that one. <laughs> Cool. Not bad. I'll crush you. Uh, let's get rid of it. This is Mario World 100%. Prepare what a win. What? Not bad. Now, who should I fight? Yeah! Easy. There was no need for me to fight. See, this is. See, look at the little like animation. She's kind of like got her hand out, like, "Hey, care to join me?" Or, you know, do you understand why this is super cute? It's not all flashy. It's not all like, "Oh yeah, check a look at my body," or you know, "Oh, I'm so cute. I'm gonna twirl around," you know, like Neptune does. It's just nice job. <laughs> I don't know. I just love this. We also need to get these guys right. It's our chance to round them all up. Easy. There was no need for me to fight. Oh, see, that's cute too. Like, just her smile. Like, come on. Ha! And I mean, can we even talk about the turtles? Probably Mario reference too. Just one way or the other, you know. Yeah! Don't underestimate me. Easy. There was no need for me to fight. Although, can you at least say something that's different? All right, how much, uh, oh, we actually probably need to just fight one enemy. Let's crush them all at once. Thanks everyone for all your help. No one's here. We need to get to level 41. That's my goal after this. We just need to get to level 41. It's our chance to round them all up. This is a CPU's power. Remember it. I already <laughs> did. It's fine, lady. My lady. Top. First of all, the, like, look at the way she walks. Look how laid back it is. Look at the way she runs. Like, what is that? <laughs> What's this? I didn't check it. Some said some kind of jewelry. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I can break these. An item. Yes, more healing pots. Wait, so this is 
Oh, no. Easy. There was no need for me to fight. Level up. Yeah, and she leveled up. Oh, see, that's, I mean, it's kind of like, what, man? But it's like, it's cute. It's so cute. Everything she, everything she is is cute. Jump. An item. <laughs> Jump. I definitely do appreciate the fact that we have way more healing pods because we need those. The, no, guarantee we're fighting Seisha. One way or the other. Oh, get rid of these guys. Literally last time they screwed me up. Like I got this off recording during a uh what a win. What is it? In my previous recording when I was trying to grind for Noir to defeat uh Keisha, there was this little one time where we were fighting a bunch of those jellyfishes. And somehow they paralyzed me good enough to where we didn't even get a chance to do anything and I lost because of that. I literally just watched them yeah. attack and attack until all my health drank this and I literally couldn't do anything. Power. Because after Remember the paralyzation it. was done, I was back to being paralyzed and it sucked. Player 2, why is it called Player 2 Park though? Is it like referring to the idea that, hey, we need a Luigi. Jump. Ha. 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 She okay, I'm not gonna lie, she sounds a lot like Amy Jump. Rose when she does that, the, ha. yeah, the ha, like just, you know. Okay, so that was just a little event like, oh yeah, we're still looking for them. And, um. Top. Jump! Top. Jump! I'm sorry, she's Top. adorable. Like, come on. Ha. If you say anything otherwise, I'm sorry, but I, I, I probably can't talk to you anymore. Dark red frog. Okay, let's go, ma'am. I mean, she looking, admittedly, she looks a little too weird. Or, what do I mean? Every time they turn into a CPU, they look completely different, one way or the other. So why am I surprised? I'll show you the power of Louise CPU! Wow, now she just straight up has an axe. Can we talk about that? Don't get caught! Oh, it has, has a lot of armor. That's great. Not bad. Oh, and it has poison. That's great. That's great. What what are those things on your side? I'm actually curious now. Just die! I'll turn you into rats! One thing admittedly that I might be a little bit uncomfortable with her is that she seems to be Not insanely bad. aggressive as a person. Which is nothing wrong with that. But admittedly, those are not my type of people. Chew on this! Or should I say, I am not very fond of aggressive, super duper aggressive people? My Nothing turn. wrong with it, again, but like, not Chew too fond with it. Oh, I could have chosen a different special. Chew on this! There we go, now he's down. Boom! Eat that. Way to win. Ah, I'm, well, I mean, you want, right? Probably Bowser Sin, like, a mini minion of himself. And, um, you know, he probably was all like, yo, baddies, get this, uh, get him. Just jump him. Mario ain't here? Jump him. Oh, no, don't skip. Even though this doesn't really serve so much purpose, but, you know, it's always nice getting information, because some of them actually ended up being a foreshadow. Oh, there they are. The little girls that I'm actually just, I don't know why, but their clothing makes me think they are way younger than they actually are. Like, something about that looks like as if they tried putting, like, baby clothing on babies that don't even fit them. Like, something, something about it. Uh-oh. Seems like, uh, their magic that they, you know, had earlier is not working on them. This is bad. They're going to get jumped. All right, well, Ron and Ren just yeeted out of there, and Blonde was literally so close to finding them. Ah, great. All right. Uh, I don't remember what all that was about, but uh, what a chore. We did our thing. Also, really fast, we did our uh thing, right? Oh, Magic Doggo. I guess I didn't find any of those enemies, huh? A few days later, what? 
What do you mean? Wow, everyone just calls her Blonnie at this point. Like, just wow. So should I just start calling her that at this point? Or should I just be respectful and call her Blonde? I think I'm gonna do that. <gasps> look, oh my gosh, guys, look. The one in a lifetime rare chance. She's smiling. Oh my gosh. Okay, call me weird if you want. I think I'm getting a slight anxiety from uh, seeing the snow. Um, Cause we recently, literally, before I hopped on to um, this game, we were watching, me and my family watching, we had a movie night, we were watching uh, The Day of Tomorrow. I think you guys might have heard of it, but it's basically like global warming. It's one of those like movies where it has the possibility of happening in real life, kind of like San Andreas. Except The Day of Tomorrow, I think, took a, wow, a massively scary turn. It pretty much shaped what the end of the world should look like if it ever happened. So... At the beginning, they this global warming caused most of the North and South, well, actually no, the North Pole to basically um, kind of melt. And because all this insane amount of ice and you know cold stuff fell into the, you know the fresh ocean, the temperatures of it started changing so drastically that it started getting incredibly cold. And because of that, it started causing cold weathers. So because of that, um. At one point in time, there will there was literally a point where it's like if you were to be outside, you would freeze to death instantly. And there were these massive hurricanes of constant cold blizzards below negative 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And um, it, if you were in them, you would freeze to death almost instantly. And um, the amount of times they put our protagonists through um, pretty much dying. It could definitely give you a lot of anxiety. Alright, that conversation was kind of pointless. I think they were just going over, like, some things that were, um, I don't know. Also, if I have enough credits, which I think I do, uh, yeah, now I guess I might as well spend a little bit of it on, um, investment. Oh, she doesn't even have a comment on it. Just, like, just go right in. Although, for whatever reason, we do get a, um... What was it? We do get some... Yeah, we get, uh, I don't know where, like, dialogue right here. Oh my gosh, look at her smile! Ooh, okay, so we got, ooh, energy might- I, I don't know what energy might does. But look at her smile! Like, how can you go wrong with it? Oh my gosh. She's so adorable. <laughs> wow, okay, blonde. So, are we done for that part? Oh, we're going what a here. Chore. Yeah, I was like, give you a nice turn in this discipline. Jeez, you are very aggressive. Oh. All right, well, more monsters. Should be Great, good wonderful. For a warm up. Um. Okay, you better freaking die, sir. <laughs> Why did you hardcore for not dying for a freaking pipe? I guess too cool. So far. Yeah, it's because you're the. Why you shoot that? So cute. Why? Why does she have to be such an aggressive person? Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, now, Loki, this is actually kind of funny. Jumping on her at night. <laughs> okay, whoever that person is is definitely not some normal citizen. He's definitely onto something. Like, uh, the last lady, the order lady, the older woman. Order woman. Who, you know, was all like, hey, you can do this. Here? Cause you, really? you should, well, you know. Well, it's your choice, I guess. Uh, blonde, please stop. Okay, so we just had a little conversation, and it seemed to have been about this lady 
I can't- I don't know how to pronounce her name, but she said that she knows where they are, yeah. at least? Really? Well, it's your choice, I guess. Come on, stop. Um... Uh, what was it? And she seems to know where they are. Hex Let's Greensland. Alright, now what- Now... Do I know where- Hex Green- Whoa... Is this a Mario Galaxy level? Like, remember that one level with a bunch of bees in them and stuff? I'm wondering if this is the case. Like, I'm actually legitimately curious. Oh, wow. <laughs> I literally come here, the first thing I get is an encounter. Don't underestimate me. Easy. There was no need for me to fight. Oh, these are the ones I'm looking for. Magic Dugu. Oh, they're really just called Duggoos? Prepare yourself! I'll take credit for that one. Thanks, everyone, for all your help. I like how she says that, and we're like the only one on the team. What's this? This is definitely a Mario look, and this is definitely like a Mario Galaxy feeling. Like, just the way it's kind of like layered out. Oh, here we go. Or oh, is this the locks? The lost hex? Like, I know she's not supposed to be a reference to Sonic, but just kind of look at it. Looks like Angel so Island now that I look at it. Like this. Ram, what should we do? I can't. You can't give up. Right now, we have to run. Ow. Graham? Ah! Yeah! I won't let you. There she is. Yay. Rom, Ram, are you all right? Glon? Oh, Glon, we were looking for you. Don't give me that, you dummy. Damn it. Why have you been wandering around? Don't you know this is dangerous? We're sorry. We wanted to find you, and so we tried our hardest. But even then... We can catch up with them afterwards, Blani. I get how you feel, but these monsters aren't going to wait for us to sort this all out. Yeah, you're right. I'll have to thank them for all the bullshit they've been putting my little sisters through. Alright, censor that. Oh, I didn't get to join. Yay! Um, level 38. Oh, so I'm on the right track, actually. I'll show you the power of Louise. My CPU turn. You candidate. I'll turn you into red. Parts broke. Uh, oh, actually, parts broke. I should probably be on the sides of it just in case. I don't like pain. Oh my god, bruh! Hello? Can we just mention the amount of damage she has just endured from one attack? No, not yeah, one attack. Like, bruh. Okay, no, 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 Now. Wow, all of a sudden they look a lot more pure. Or they're definitely more pure than all the other candidates. Or, you know. Okay. My turn. Go in your HDD form. Don't question. Are Just you do ready? it. I also love how Ram and Ram have their little animation that kind of actually coordinate with each other a little bit. If you kind of notice how um, Here we go. hers, she actually fills in the other heart section. Annoying. I also, I really love anytime. how like a million times deeper their voice is, like way deeper. Like it is so Don't weird. Just die. I won't go easy. Nice. No. Ow. Yeah, see, now he does like half the no. damage. What should I do? Still, though, it's kind of crazy how he's doing a little too much damage. Don't get caught. Come on, come on. 
Wow, did she just use her elbow just straight up? Oh my gosh, this is a... Okay, uh, I'm getting a little too infested in Guan. Yep, let's do it stylish too. Boom! Now, do you know the power of Louise CPU? Uh, maybe. <laughs> but yes. That should do it. Jeez, what feudal resistance! It should be safe here now. I'll keep a lookout, so go ahead. Blood. Blood. See, why does her clothes look way more like really thicker? My babies, I'm so glad you're safe. Did you think I was gonna say that, you little idiots? She's always very aggressive. Don't Your sister's so like, damn chill. Reckless. Becoming hunters and then ending up in this situation? Okay, maybe that is a little bit kind of questionable, but still, jeez, chill? Question mark. We thought if we became hunters, we'd be able to get back to where you were. Oh yeah, that's true. I forgot. If you you, you can't go anywhere unless limits? you're you know. If you were unlucky, you two might have... Sorry for cutting in, but you became a hunter because you wanted to find these two, right? The way I see it, you're not really in a position to be scolding them like that. Huh? You're a hunter too? I didn't know. Ugh. That's true, but... You were worried about them too, so why not just admit that you're happy to see them? Yeah, like, jeez. Like, chill. Like, find a time. Come on. Come on. Fine, I got it. Have you two learned your lesson? Yeah, we have. We won't do dangerous things like that ever again. Uh-uh. All right. I'll forgive you this time. Yay! Thank you, Blonde! I'm glad you two are alright. I'm really, really glad you're both okay. We're sorry. We just really wanted to find you. We couldn't sit still thinking that you might disappear again. It's fine. I understand. You're injured, so let's go clean up your wounds. Okay! All's well that ends well, it seems. Lan, um, who is this person? I'll explain while we walk back. It's gonna be a long story. Okay. Um, we should probably end it there for now. Oh, of course. Let's, uh, I think we have new VR sessions. Let's. T yeah, that is the truth. Okay. So after. Our VR sessions with Blonde, which might take actually quite a while, um, we'll um, end the episode off right here. <laughs> well, Hi there, I'm here again. You know, the more I think about, it, are they all like, like the same heights time. or something? Here, I brought you some books from my room. They're all wonderful books, and I'd love for you to read them when you get a chance. I'm gonna put them on your bookshelf, okay? Okay! I'm surprised you're really doing that, though, because, like... Can I see what you're doing, ma'am? What are you doing over there, huh? 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 <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, the way she walks is so cute. I'm sorry. With all the books I brought, your bookshelves filled out quite nicely. It's amazing. No matter how many times I see it, when a bookshelf has been filled, so has my heart. Oh, the way she looks at like that is so cute. Okay, okay. Looking at my favorite things always calms me down. Before I came over here, I was with my sisters. They're younger, and they're twins. They look the like babies, for whatever reason. The one in blue is Rom, 
She's the quiet one. Oh. The one in pink is Ram. I figured that She's out on my own. She's really energetic. Not the personality though, because I'm not good at that, so... Time. But Ram is the older one of the two. The blue one, right? Yeah. I'm proud of them both. And they're so Wait, cute. so how are they twins then? If one of them's actually older. I just realized. You must know about both of them by now. Oh, you just realized that. You know, they can be a handful yeah. sometimes. Why did you blush right there if for a second? If I take Hold my up. eyes Wait off a minute, of them for a second, they'll get into trouble. I'm busy all day, so I'm not always able to look after them. It's understandable that they'd get into mischief here and there, but... I just don't have a lot of time to hang out with them. Ouch. But besides that... I'm not the most outgoing individual in the world, so it's hard for me to take the initiative. So, even if they get into a little mischief, I almost welcome it, as long as they're doing something with me. <laughs> okay, buddy. But, I will get angry if they end up drawing on any of my important documents. Makes sense, right? Unless they're drafts. I'm not really great at leading people, but it brings me so much happiness to know Ram and Ram rely on me. Aw, oh, that's cute. Player, does it make you happy to know someone relies on you, even if you're not a leader? <laughs> Look at her. So adorable. Does it make me happy to know if someone relies on me even if I'm not a leader? I actually don't know how I feel about that. On one hand, I can think, well, um, if it's on something important, it's on something I'm confident on, then yeah, pretty much. But if it's on another thing, I actually don't know how to answer this question. <laughs> on one hand, I feel like it could be like, oh, well, we'll... Re mm -mm. Oh, that's, that's a really situational one. Because the more that I think about it, oh, it, it, it could go either way. Because it's like either A, I could be relying on something that, oh yeah, I know what I'm doing here. I'm doing this, that, and I can actually confidently do it. But if I'm doing something on the other hand, like there's actually this one project that I remember that we were supposed to be doing in media productions where one of my group members, my team leader, actually was relying on me to do one of the projects that we were doing for media productions. But since because I'm an introvert, talking to people is not really my thing. <laughs> since, you know, I tend to fumble all over my words every single time so i don't know i feel like that's really situational but maybe when i'm an adult i'll start realizing that's really good because like in high school i feel like it's kind of a bunch of like ah oh, whatever right like you shouldn't be doing this shouldn't be doing that so you know but hmm i really want to say yes but like i'm honestly not sure because i feel like this can go like either direction you know or it can go either direction but just to be happy, let's say it was on a situation that I actually do know of. Even though I'm not a leader of, at least I know what I'm doing. So, yeah. It's nice, isn't it? It helps when it's someone you know well. It encourages you to be a better person. That's true, too. I feel better knowing that you feel the same way I do. I'm glad. Why do you have to be the bittersweet oh, one? I apologize. Somehow this turned into me confiding in you. <laughs> it's I, fine. I don't have a lot of people I can talk to about this. <gasps> ah, okay, I need to I shut have up. Neptune and the other goddesses, but I don't know. Well, they must be frustrating, right? <laughs> They're more like rivals. Even though we spur each other on to be better fighters, I don't think we ever just talk about our feelings. Oh, wait. What in the world am I saying? I can tell because you're blushing. I'm really sorry. Oh my gosh, why? Stop doing that! You're I killing guess me! I'll head home for today. I feel like I just kept on talking. But I'm glad you were here to listen. Um, thanks for spending so much time with me today. I appreciate you a lot. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> she's so adorable. So, now that I think about it, how do you dis- Oh, there is more. But now that I think about it, how do you describe her personality? Because I feel like it's not the s That's not what I'm thinking of. I was thinking of Sun- I was thinking of a Sundere, but... Not necessarily. She- Okay, well, number one, she's- She seems to be shy. She's an introvert, definitely. She likes to talk about her feelings. She realizes that they never get to talk about her feelings, so maybe she's a bit passive. But she's also a really aggressive person person when how do you describe it well, how many of those are we gonna go through is the real question steps through the gate from the ladder gently walk towards me look at her very gently oh hello player after the last time I left I was thinking about the way that I'd been acting around you. It wasn't my usual self. Oh. Um, I, uh, people usually tell me that I'm a little, me a little rough around the edges. To call it. So, I guess I wanted to try being more polite is all. Aww. And I heard that you were a being who could interact with lots of dimensions. So, I was nervous about the kind of person you'd be. The greedy but one, she probably was as thinking. As I talked to you, I realized you're not that different from us. All of this to say, I don't think I should try and force being so polite. What does that mean? Because all I really want is to just become a closer friend to you. Player, I'm going to try and act more like myself. I want to be more comfortable around you. So I'd appreciate it if you would just act like yourself around me too. So, Actually, no, that's not what you want. Let's be friends. Because I am a weird person. I'm a very weird person when I've I get been to, to my inner you, being. It's super weird. But the timing never works out. Like, Player, I get a little handsy, can I'll I tell you that. Can I register you to my Our Tomo collection? Our Tomo collection? What? It's a game where you can register your friends as avatars and watch them interact with each other. Sims. <laughs> it might sound it's kind like of boring, but it's actually pretty fun. The game has a lot of elements, but the number one selling point is how these artificial relationships can form all on their own. To give an example using my data, Neptune and Noir, the comedian and the realist, have pretty much switched roles in game. I would love to see that actually. The usual scenario is <laughs> Imagine of course, Neptune Noir being the Sundre. Is really serious and naive, and Neptune just cracks a lot of jokes while helping people. Imagine Neptune being Vert the Sundre. <laughs> that would be funny. Formed a weird comedy duo with Uzume, and they practiced. Wait, she knows Uzume? I don't think roof. they haven't they met. <laughs> they haven't met yet though, right? As for my avatar. She recently debuted as an idol, and she performs and sings while wearing a squid costume. I'm really terrible at performing in front of people, so watching That's it makes me feel one hundred percent a Splatoon reference. Now that I've explained it, is it okay if I registered you as a resident too? Why would I not? Like, I mean. If it wasn't for my sister, which she has done these, except in, like, wars connotations, it's like, how can I deny it and just say, this is no better? Like, at least it's not like my sister. I can't remember. Oh, she wanted to add me as a character in BitLife, and that is a weird game. Like, a weird, weird game. But this is interesting. It's like, I feel like the... Orotomo collection, whatever she said. It seems like another life simulator, it seems like. Uh, like a whole nother life. Just as a video game-ish, right? That's interesting. Imagine Blonde being one of the Squid Sisters. She be all of them. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, sure thing. Add me in. Tell me about Thank it, too. You. Okay, then. I'll do it when I get home. I'll make your face look super realistic, too. And how would you do that? Wait, like, 
my nan nanny. Anyway, today I brought this card set <gasps> with me. One hundred poems, she special edition. Although I think it's more commonly known as Karuta. It's a beautiful game. But the content of the poems might be a little different from the ones you have in your world. I think the rules might be the same, though. Just so you know, this isn't just any old card game. And it's much more than a simple memory game. It might not be in book form, but it's a proper collection of beautiful poetry. Poetry has a way of holding the emotions of its author in the scenes it portrays. By analyzing them, we can infer a deeper meaning that exists well beyond the words. Whoa. Also, okay. whether or not you're able to understand a poem makes all the difference as to whether you can memorize them easily or not. I feel like I've been able to actually understand context a little bit better nowadays, especially since I've been playing some games or wow, the way she just delicate delicately puts you, that. Look how close she is to this collection. Look how cute she is. <clears throat> oh, she's so adorable. <gasps> For your precious sake, once my eager life itself was not dear to me. This poem is about a sacrificial kind of love. The speaker in it loves the person they're talking to very much. But I relate most to this part. But now it is my heart's desire that long, long years it may endure. It means, even though meeting was beautiful in itself, it isn't enough. They'd like to stay together for all eternity. I actually didn't understand well, that. Or what? know that. What's with the face? Oh, wait. If you make a good <coughs> friend or have a sister, it's just normal to want to cherish that relationship. Wait, are you trying to say this phrase doesn't suit me? Hmm. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Oh, what? She I'm kidding? not the type to make jokes like that. That was new for me. Oh. <laughs> it's kind and of strange. giggle too. Oh my gosh. Everything is you adorable know, about her. When I'm with you, I... Um, uh -oh. well, I I'm gonna go home now. She was about to say something she didn't want to say. You can definitely tell. Oh my gosh, why is she just delicately with that? Why? Why is she adorable? Why? You know... Come to think of it, I never taught Ram and Ram 100 poems. I think I'll play with them using simple rules when I get back. So you first tell me that, but not even your sisters? Like, what, Nani? See ya. Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing too. See ya. <laughs> Pretty sure it's like a Japanese type of culture thing of being respectful when you just kind of bow down. Okay. Or like, oh my gosh, I've been recording for almost two hours now. Like, my dude, I'm sitting on the. She kind of just came out from the flat zone. See, look at that. Look at the clock up there. That's the time. Oh my gosh. Look at her. Oh. Why? Uh, hello. Why is she so adorable? Why? Why? Um, I'm uh, a little sleepy today. Um, is it strange to see me like this? You're staring an awful lot. Oh boy, it feels kind of weird. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's okay. Oh, you're so mean. I hate you. <laughs> what, the way you say that though? Like, hello? Oh. I lied. I don't hate you. You're just probably the exhausted. The thing is, I've been so busy lately that I haven't been resting well. But I managed to finish everything I was working on. It's okay now. Oh, nothing happened back home in Louis. Everything is okay there. It's nothing you need to worry about. 
okay, player? I'm starting to wonder if we get um, these VR the sessions work I was talking at a different was time. Kind of personal, I guess. Maybe voluntary is a better word. But anyway, it's nothing a goddess like me can't handle. I'm fine. So Her armpits are looking well, a little. Whoa. That was stupid. Sorry to worry you, player. I think I'm more exhausted than I realize. Is it okay with you if I sit down for a minute? Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, my bad. Even though I'm on the couch. Wow, it's so soft. Literally every single time my now sister comes in my room, lay down. lays on my bed. Is that okay? Oh, yes! Yes! Thank you so much. Like, for how long? Ah, oh my gosh, are you really gonna fall asleep in my room? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I can't. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh, she's actually trying to sleep. Oh my gosh. Am I like weird from just looking? All right, I'll look at the clock up there. It's uh 2.34 right now. I heard a giggle too. Oh my gosh. This is adorable. Why? Why you gotta be so bittersweet? Like, come on. I think it's time I go home for the day. Yeah, you're... I I think I'm getting a fever, and I really wouldn't want you to get sick just because of me. I'll I'll come back when I feel better. Uh, okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, the way you kind of run out like that, I think you're just getting a little embarrassed over something. Oh, that was it. Okay. So I guess we do. Okay. Wait. So for uh, Noir, for example, from looking at this, it seems like we unlock more throughout completion i want no wait mm, let me see i wonder if we unlock more when we complete her arc we'll figure that out next episode because it is 235 right now which means it's oh there's also new room objects wonderful what? When did Blonde knew Uzume? Like, they've never met, right? Or, I feel like this has to be a different time, because the way she kind of says about, you know, game industry seems like it's a different time period when I do VR visits with her. So, I don't know. I mean, okay, so if you guys enjoyed watching this video, um, that'll be all for today. I don't know why I got that mixed up. That'll be all for today, guys. It's literally 2.37 in the morning. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you like some more of this. And uh, I'm really hoping that we can actually get past Blonde's part a little quicker. Then I uh, hope because this stuff might take a while. All right. And when I say a while, I mean a while. Like a, a while, while. And uh, all that type of stuff. So I'm gonna read this through real fast and then after that, that'll be the end of the video. Oh, she's not good at treating injuries. I mean, then again, it's kind of hard to write because I don't know how to do that myself other than put a bandage on. Oh, keeping the promise that she Sha said, you know, if you found the sisters and you don't need me anymore, correct? And then, you know, um, so I guess they don't really need Sha anymore. So I guess this is the part where, um, no, oh, well, I guess they're starting to become a little bit of a friend now. I mean, she called her Blani again. And she didn't get pissed off from that. So... I'm kind of interested. So that'll be the that'll be the end of the episode for today. Uh, you know, Ram and Rom are with the little the lady. 
and they're gonna be hospitalized for a little bit, so they should be able to get healed anytime soon. So, I, oh, well, wait, what? Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. If you guys actually now, enjoyed watching this video, and I'll see you guys in whatever we do next. Take care, God bless you guys, and uh, I hope that you guys had a wonderful day. See you later.